Hello, everyone out there. This is uh, Dr. Haruna Goro. Let me know where you're joining me from. Please go ahead and share this uh, link with as many people get them. I need to just share a few things from my heart. Yesterday, I did uh, a Wells Live, just, you know, sharing how I felt about the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. I know that different people have, you know, their different uh perceptions about who trump is american politics and they are saying haruna you should concentrate on what's happening in nigeria and in africa why are you bothering about america but let me tell you as a person that has a heart and has a conscience i care about people you may have noticed that i've not been speaking much about nigeria because i called on the nation i called on the youth I said, you, it's, it's your, it's your destiny. It's your future and the future of your children, your great grandchildren that is at stake. Many of these career politicians, they, they are heartless. They are so evil, diabolic that they don't care about how, you know, how you feel. They don't care about your destiny. They don't care about your life. They are all about themselves. And many of the people that join politics, they are only concerned about themselves. So that's why they jump from one party to the other. If they're not get, finding their way here, they jump. You saw what happened in River State, where the, 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 many uh, the local government the chairman, because uh, of wicked, uh, or let me say wicked, wicked, they decided they were going to decamp and just uh, at one go, go jo join APC. Meanwhile, they were not voting on the platform of APC. That's how politicians are. Some will go as far as the parliament, go to the Senate, or go to the House of Rep. And then when they get there, they are promised other things. They are promised position and uh, uh, guarantee election next time. So what do they do? They forget the people that voted for them. So if you are thinking or believe in what any typical politician tells you, you must be joking. You may be, you must be daydreaming. So yesterday I did a video and I was talking about, you know, saying ah, I really felt, you know, I'm not happy with what happened in America, how they almost killed Donald Trump. And I'm aware of the fact that not everybody likes Donald Trump because of the kind of personality that he has, what he has said about Africans and so, and especially at Nigerians. But it's not about sentiment. It's not about being emotional or, or being partisan. It's about being a human being. Donald Trump is a father, is a grandfather, is also a husband. He could, it, if he had died, he, the, 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 Melanie would have had no husband. The children will have no dad. The grandchildren will have no grandfather. And so somebody is saying, you know, just forget that, you know, we, the, the, Donald Trump should have, should have even died because he, he is too over the top. He uh, He's too selfish. He's too proud and all that. It's got nothing to do with what you think, what you feel, or who Donald Trump is. The issue is that that was politics, and we got politics imported to us. We are using what the Americans began, which is politics. They, we are practicing what they are doing, and they are still not perfect in it. That's why we see all the mess we see in politics in Africa. And when I was talking about Tinubu and warning Nigerians, I, as a northerner, from Kaduna State, I was southerners. You are joining the 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 Inyamiri people, the Igbos from the southeast, and you are against us as northerners. We must stand together and protect our north. You know, they must not. We must not allow a southerner. So Tinubu, being a selfish, greedy person, and many Yorubas are, and I'm married to a Yoruba, and I'm telling you, many of them they will sell. Their conscience, they will sell, they can sabotage, they can even betray their own brother for the sake of what they will get. And so Tinubu, because he, uh, when he said Emi Lokon, he was desperate. He wanted to be president at all costs. And so whatever he was going to do, when they told him Muslim, Muslim ticket, he went for it. Whatever they told him to do, he went for it. But now, are you not seeing what Tinubu is doing? And you know, the, the people from the far north, especially the Fulanese, that cited that idea, that believed that Tinubu was coming to serve their interest after Buhari. And since he is going with a Muslim, Muslim ticket, they went and hired and paid some fake people that became fake bishops. 
Christians did not go on an uproar, didn't fight. They laid down quiet and accepted it. Now they are again busy pre preparing and planning for 2027. We were calling, we were saying, Nigerians, wake up. Don't allow Tinubu be sworn in because you are in, you are going from frying pan to fire. Didn't it happen? And that's what we're going through. So when I talked about Donald Trump, that was a human being. And let me tell you, you may have your own belief. I know I'm not in America, and I, it, what is happening there does not necessarily put food on my table, but I'm concerned about us, we that are so gullible. Go and see what is happening to the black American. They've been lying to them using false narrative that the Democrats are for them, they are for them, but they are suffering more under the Democrats. Even this assassination attempt, you will notice now they will start twisting it around. Some people are saying, Haruna, how are you sure? It was not staged. Okay, you stage your, you stage, if you want to be accepted, you want vote. The next time, stage an, a, 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 a sniper to, to, you know, aim live bullets at you. And you just chop off a little part of your ear. Since it was Hollywood, it was not real. How people can be so daft? I saw this during COVID. I was warning people that the, the, that many of these Americans, Fauci, people like uh, uh, what what is his name, Bill Gates, that they are out to take us down. They want to depopulate Africa. People are saying, Haruna, you have started with your uh, uh, your, uh, your, your your theories again, and they are calling me a conspiracy theorist. That's how Northerners began to see me during the election, pre the election, after the election. They are saying, how can a northerner be fighting against the welfare of his own people? People from my own area were angry with me. But I'm the kind of person that will stand for the truth. And I don't care. I'm not looking for anything for myself. Anybody that is happy and supported the, the uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump, you must be a, an evil, wicked person. Do you know that the entire mainstream media is creating narratives before this high before this assassination attempt uh, took place now i'm not happy that somebody died others are critically in the hospital but do you know the fight was they were trying to discredit uh, what is his name their own candidate wh which happens to be the sitting president the uh, the joe Biden, because they wanted somebody else so they started to pump on him pump and he's this is this and this is what everybody knew before the whole world knew but there has been a cover up, a cover up. Politics, you can't trust typical politicians. And they will use any means. They use the judiciary, like what they've been doing against Trump. So it's really not about America, it's about the heart of human beings. When they want something for themselves, they are diabolic, they are wicked. And if human beings don't stand up, the masses don't stand up to fight for themselves and they are trusting one politician, one you know, person that's making promises to, that one day their fate or their lives are going to change, you are, going to, you are daydreaming. Even with what is happening in America. I know, I mean, I'm not there and so I don't really bother that much. But being, as I said, having a heart, I am concerned. And that's why I spoke the way I did. And, you know, I don't want to make this video very long. You've not been seeing me doing broadcasts. And the reason is because I felt I've done what I needed to do. I warned Nigerians against Tinubu. They didn't listen. After they were trying to swear Tinubu in, and I told the nation, rise up and refuse it. And people were saying, let's just wait and see. Uh, wait and see. Peter Obi said that he will go to court. I said the courts are corrupt. If the American courts are corrupt, is it? Nigeria that is like the seat of corruption it is on the seat of governance you think he was not already planning for 2027 why is wicked there why is he putting many of the people that are from is from Lagos and from his own tribe or king's men He's already planning for 2027. See what happened in Kenya. If Kenyans, the youth, the, 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 the Gen Z's did not stand up to fight, Ruto would not have bowed. Ruto had to, you know, uh, this, um, had to, you know, put, bring down his uh, cabinet. 
He's now have to get new ones and he's prepared to listen to people and get advice from them. You see, it's because the Kenyans rose up. But Nigeria, since you are afraid, keep your mouth shut. When people like us are talking, don't open your mouth and talk and tell me hey, I should concentrate about Nigeria and leave America alone. We have to learn from what is happening around the nation. People are standing up. But many Nigerians just talk on social media. They go and dance Afrobeat and they're not thinking about what is happening. I am sick past 68 years. I should not be doing what I'm doing, but I'm doing it because I'm concerned about you people that are struggling. Nigerians are going through a lot and we should not allow them to continue to suffer just because it is fine with you. Well, as I said, I don't want to make this too long, but it's up to you. From now on, I'll be doing broadcasts. I'll be touching, I'll do broadcasts not only about Nigeria. I will talk about South Africa, talk about Kenya, talk about Namibia, because currently I am in Namibia and I'll be here for, for a long while. But being a Nigerian, that's why I'm concerned. I've been speaking and I will continue to speak. Anywhere I see injustice, I will address it. Whether it's America, whether it's Europe, because it's about humanity. And a lot of people on earth, actually, I would say we have got more zombies than people that use their brain. They believe whatever CNN tells them. They believe what, whatever CN, CNBC tells them, NBC tells them, ABC tells them. NT I will never, never back down. I'll keep speaking, but you will not hear me speak a lot about Nigeria anymore until you are ready to rise up and take your nation back. They say a word is enough to the wise. And if Nigerians are wise, they will stand up and take their nation back from this evil, diabolic, wicked uh, men that are just sitting there looking like they have your interest, but they are not thinking about you all their concern is to enrich themselves at the expense of the people. It's, I was so surprised to hear Muslim, Muslim ticket. Now, what have they done? Because of money, they have signed for LGBTQ. How can Nigeria of all nations agree to this diabolic agenda? Muslims stand against this. And Christians are against this. The tradition in the nation is against it. It's on African, but because of money, have they not signed? The one that signed it on behalf of the nation. Is he not a Muslim? And the LGBTQ, so they want men to marry men, women to marry men. I mean, women to marry women. This is against the culture of the nation. But because of corruption, they have done it. The nation is quiet. We are not hearing people come out. People are scared. They don't want to die. The death you are afraid of, you are already dead. They have killed you. They've killed your conscience. They've seared your conscience. And they are busy destroying the future, not just your future, but the future of your children and your great-grandchildren. I will never keep quiet, but I'm not going to talk too much again about Nigeria. If you care about your nation, stand up and protect it. They did it in Kenya, and we have seen the effect. We've seen the outcome. See what is hap has happened in uh, Botsina uh, 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 what has happened in, just on top of Nigeria, there in, in Niger, what has happened in Burkina Faso and some other nations. See Senegal, what they have now. And so somebody is telling me, just concentrate, just concentrate on Nigeria. If you care about Nigeria, play your own part and stand up to defend your nation. You've got only one place to call your home, Nigeria. So if you don't fight and you're expecting that some other people should fight for you, Politicians are not concerned about you. Wake up, as my wife will always say. Well, thank you very much. Go ahead and share this broadcast. I want to know where you just uh, joined me from. I just had to make this broadcast after the one I did yesterday regarding Donald Trump because I needed to let people know we cannot allow this to continue. You have to stand in defense of your own nation. Don't wait for 2027 thinking there will be a change. Peter will be, you say they will give it to Peter will be. You think they would if you don't stand up now and fight and take your nation back? Well, God bless you. Feel free to share it and uh, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. And uh, also...